Hello, today we're talking about kites. So interesting enough, there's a geometric term that is called a kite that actually looks like sort of a traditional kite. And so you could say a kite is a quadrilateral that has two pairs of consecutive congruent sides. The opposite sides are not congruent. So that means that these two sides would equal each other, and then these two sides would equal each other. And you can see that they don't equal each other, the ones across from each other, or it would be a square. Okay, so there's the kite diagonal theorem. It says if a quadrilateral is a kite, then its diagonals are perpendicular. So let's do this real quick. Draw a little kite to make two sides that are the same. And then they're going to go down to make two longer sides that are also the same, like that. We'll call it A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. And we're going to draw the diagonals going like this. Mine's not perfect, of course. It says if a quadrilateral is a kite, then its diagonals are perpendicular. So you draw a little right angle there. So in our example, if quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a kite, then A, C, has to be perpendicular to BD. Okay, let's look at the next one. So it says the kite opposite angles theorem. If a quadrilateral is a kite, then exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. So let's see what that means exactly. It's always much easier to understand if you draw a picture. You draw lots of pictures in geometry. So let's draw our standard kite. And it says exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. So it's these angles here. It's like the angles that join the two sides that aren't the same. That's how I think of it. So this is the same, this is the same, right? And this is the same, and this is the same. Do you see how they're joined together with the angles that are the same? And then we'll call this A, B, C, D. You can see that B, C is the same as B, A. That would mean that angle A is congruent to angle C, and angle B is not congruent to angle D. So it's never going to be congruent. This side is always going, well, one side is going to be smaller and one side is going to be bigger. That's just the way the shape, the shape of the kite. Okay, so let's find angle D in this kite. Let's see here. So we know that angle D is the same as angle F. Sorry, that's a little hard to see. Here, I'll put it in white. And that tells us that we could actually represent that with a variable. I'm going to call it x. So each of these are equal to x. So we could say, well, I have two x's plus 115 degrees plus 73 degrees. And because it is a type of quadrilateral, we know that they all add up to 360. So go ahead and combine your 115 and 73 to get 188. And we're just doing some algebra here. You always want to get rid of the number that is not attached to the variable next. And this is 172. And definitely if you're feeling uncomfortable with the big numbers, just punch it into a calculator. That's what they're there for. Divide both sides by 2, and we get 86 degrees. And because they're the same, we know that they're both 86. It just asks us, though, for the measure of angle D, which is 86. Okay, let's look at this next one. It says quadrilateral WXYZ is a kite. Find XW. Okay, so we're given this side is 18, and this side has to be the same, right? This one's super quick. XW has to be 18 inches. And WZ, so let's match up the other ones that are the same. WZ is the same as XC. And see if the sides that are equal to each other, or I'm sorry, the, yeah, the sides that are not equal to each other are joined with the angles that equal each other. So this one has to be 29. All right, we're almost finished. Let's look at this last little part here. 
So it's just a quick little review. We've talked a little bit before about special quadrilaterals. So a quadrilateral has, just has four sides, right? And then it kind of goes down to some classifications. So there are parallelograms or trapezoids or kites. None of those have any, none of those can equal each other, right? These are all different types. But there are types of parallelograms, which are the rectangle, the rhombus, and the square. And then a uh, Isosceles trapezoid is a type of trapezoid, but there isn't any other special kind of kite. And so we'll just have that as its own little category. Okay, so we're going to talk about the most specific name for each of these quadrilaterals. Let's see. So it looks like we've got parallel sides. And let's just check and see if these are equal. So 64 plus 80. Does that equal 75 plus 62? I don't think it does. Nope, it does not. So it's just a regular trapezoid, not isosceles. Okay, and then this one. It looks like we have two sides that equal each other, and then two separate sides that equal each other. Even though it kind of looks like a square, it's actually a kite. Because if two sides equal each other, and then the two cross equal each other, then it's always a kite. Okay, let's look at this one. This one's got lots of markings. So we have... a diagonal that's cut in half, but this one's not cut in half. So that Make so we can't use some of our theorems that use that. Try to erase. Okay, and we have two sides that equal each other across from each other, but the other two sides don't say that they equal each other. So theoretically, it could be slanted a little bit, right? So it could look kind of like that. But we also don't know that it could look kind of like that. Hmm, I'm thinking that this one's just a generic quadrilateral. Lots of markings, but not enough markings to quite make up any of our special quadrilaterals. All right, that's it for.